Hey people, Injured here, welcome back to some Age of Wonders 3. It's been a long time, but now I have some weak lemon drink and I'm ready to go. It's time for some halflings, I guess. The fellas that I make fun of every single time I play and I've never actually ever played myself. Shall we go mental? Just turn it up to eight players, an extra large map. Just bring maximum pain. And let's keep it on Emperor because uh, why should I have any fun? No underground, this is all fine, I think. Let's go. No messing around. Allied victory, so they can maybe we can make some allies this time, but generally it means you're gonna get teamed up on. Seals, like, yeah, we're gonna have to max this out because there's more players and stuff now. I think it was 85 before, wasn't it? We actually won the last game as a rogue, which was amazing. This should all be fine. City founding off. I did want to try something new, like uh, start without a city but with a settler, but when you do that. Generally, you just want to you just want to settle where it starts you anyway, because otherwise you'll waste time looking for a place. So it doesn't really change that much. So we need to find the halfling fellow I made ages ago. There he is, Joval the Lost, because he's always wandering off into forests and talking to squirrels or something. He's a druid. We've gone for creation master, for heals and buffs and stuff. Partisan because I really did like the cheaper units at inns. So druids. Access to powerful unit spells, powerful range units, bonuses to monsters and animals, but weaker armies from cities. Now, Halflings, this paragraph is a bit of a lie because of a mod I'm running, which I'll get to in a second. Terrain, they like fertile plains and dense vegetation, i.e. forests. Dislike subterranean, which is underground, doesn't apply to us. But they hate arctic, blighted and volcanic. There's a lot of hate. That could be a problem. Bonuses, less melee strength, more range strength. 20% physical weakness, big, big deal, massive downside. City is plus 50 morale. Forestry, which is moving through dense vegetation. And Lucky, which is not true. I've modded this out because, so those that don't know, Lucky, I believe it's a 20% base chance, maybe it's 15 or something, but a chance goes up as you have more morale. It's a chance basically to completely ignore not only damage, but... Uh, all effects of hostile spells and everything. It's absolutely maddening to play against. Lost many games back in the day. Thanks to battles going south because of just crazy RNG. Just going entire rounds with attacks not hitting. It's so annoying. I don't know how people play with it on. And when it, this game launched without halflings. It has pretty good handling on RNG stuff in the battles. There is some of it but um, not too much. And then these guys came along. And uh, kind of screwed everything up for me. Pissed me off. But hey, I modded it out. So what they get now instead of lucky is a trait called well fed. Plus 15 hit points and 100 morale, which is pretty good. But I'm guessing over the course of a game, lucky, it has to be better. It's just so strong. But uh, that's what we've got. We've got well fed halflings. So let's hit start and the they're just going to choose... They're just going to choose leaders and they've chosen Guz called the war boss. I'm going to go with, with whatever they choose unless there's loads of mirrors and stuff. I think, yeah, there's only seven classes so we're going to have to double up on one of them. So we have an orc warlord, Guz call. Good old Guz call is in. We've got Wazul the Jagged, another warlord. Okay, we'll, we'll have two warlords then. Fine. What's next? We can't have two halflings. We're going to have, it's a sorcerer. Maybe a human sorcerer then. What have we got? We've got Merlin apparently. We've got to have Larissa Mirabilis. You're in. This is... Oh, it's Farsia Marco. I'm not going to have another sorcerer, but we will, we will have a... Get out of here. A high elf... Necro? Sure. Melanis the Risen. Change the colours. That's fine. Hey, it's Blood King Razor. They're bringing in my fellas all the time. We can't have a goblin or a warlord. So we will have a rogue. Frostling. You. Zoki. Yep, yep, yep. Change the colour. Another high elf. Nope. But we will have a theocrat. It's going to be a draconian. Whatever your name is, you're in. Uh, we have a necromancer and we have an orc. What do we not have? A Tigran? I think it's a Tigran. And it must be one of these we don't have. 
We have a rogue, a dreadnought. Pritar the Crafty. Is that the last one? Yeah, it is. I think I did that right. Here we go then, it's generating that extra large map. Hopefully we start kind of in a corner and hopefully we start with a mana node. It is possible to not have a mana node in your starting area. It's quite rare, but it does happen. You can also start with two, one in your starting domain and one just outside of it. That'll be pretty good for all our summons. Maybe we'll be right in the middle with no mana. He's preparing it. Here we go. Poor Joval, he is lost. We are not in the corner. We are kind of central-ish bottom. At least we're not right in the middle. Our throne city is called the Hall of Wars. Fine. And... Well, that's not bad. Mana node, gold mine, another gold mine there, and another mana node right there, pretty close. We've also got this river, which protects us slightly from the north. Not too bad so far, this cartography tent. We have gold. I haven't played this game for ages since I last recorded a playthrough for you guys. First, oh, we didn't start with summon wild animal. That's bad. So we'll grab this. Wildlife refuge is there, that's good. Who's this? You are Leo Sunguard. And you're not holding your lance correctly. How can this still be broken? He's riding a pony. Okay then. What have you got? You've got sun shield. That's pretty good. Anything else? Yo, this is the well fed here. He's got some fire protection. And there's that bloody physical weakness. Shall we grab him? Sun shield's good. Sure, you're you're in the party. I'm going to try and raise an army for you as soon as possible. So here's a Pony Rider, Tier 2 Cavalry. Pretty unremarkable. They are armoured. Would like to see them with a shield, though. But hey, I guess they've got to grab onto their horse somehow. Are you holding your thing correctly? Kind of. What about our starting... Oh! Started us with an Eagle Rider. This is our Tier 3, with Wing Beat, which benefits from charge bonuses. It's pretty cool. They can fly and stuff. And these guys, let's check it now to make sure I'm not making things up. Where can I do it? I always forget. Halfling Governance. There is a level that removes... Yeah, look. Halfling Eagle Riders lose their physical weakness and gain defense. That is amazing. So we want to grab that. What would we, we, we be losing? Lucky Clover Fields give you things. Yeah, I want that. Rely on our summons and the Eagle Riders. Although... Not having shamans would be sucky. Okay, we're going to go for my usual slow start. Slow and steady start with Builders Hall to boost production of the city. Storehouse to boost our growth. We're going to grow in eight turns at the moment. As your city grows, the domain grows and you absorb these structures and get their benefits as long as they are free of uh, hostile agents. So we have to kill some stuff here. And then a shrine for more mana, laboratory for more research, and I think we're going to go into shooting grounds and jesters, because these guys are actually quite, quite good. Let's look at the rest of our army here. It's going to be quite bad because it gave us a tier 3. The rest of the value has to go into tier 1s. Farmers. I make a lot of fun of these guys because they're dumb, but mechanically speaking, actually not dumb. Pretty good. A tier 1 pikeman with a range attack and a pretty good one. As you can see, there no line of sight penalty, no range penalty. Decent damage, and you can mess up their movement. It's only one per battle, but I think pretty good. They have the regular polearm pike mini type stuff with first strike, pike square, all that good stuff. Night watch. These guys aren't very good. They have a shield, armored, but that's pretty much all they've got going for them. Armored isn't very good for them actually, because it's un they've only got ten defense with it, and they'll be count countered by armor piercing. They have urban concealment, which is not very useful against the AI. So yeah. We, we won't, I don't think we're going to train a single Night Watch fella. And Adventurers. Monsters, Slayer, Animals, Slayer, they have a ranged attack, melee attack. They can't swim though. What kind of Adventurers are they? If they could swim, they'd be vaguely useful to go along rivers and stuff. But to know, this is telling us how to win, defeat everyone, allied victory. Maybe we can get an ally. We do have Creation Masters. We're going to try and be good aligned here. 
Yep, protect your leader in the throne city. Master the seals, that's going to be fun. This might be a quick game, just 25 turns until death. How big this map is. Alrighty. What is your name again? Leo. You can replace a farmer, or maybe replace the Night Watch, actually. I think I'd rather have a Night Watch than the Adventurer. Would I? Or do I want the Adventurer because they have a ranged attack? Yeah, I'm going to make the Night Watch run around and pick things up. You get that gold. At least we're near the edge of the map. You guys join up. Should have joined up the other way. But that's okay, we can make it to the gold mine. Oh, they want to run. So we're going to let them run to get good alignment, I think. So we get the gold. We don't get any XP, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure that the AI likes you more if you're good. It's a town, right? That's pretty close. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good pickup there. We'll go and meet them. The first city you uncover is always one of the same race as you, I think. Uh, Alright, we need to cast... Oh, we can't do it yet. Transform that into a creation node. We got one with the elements. This is pretty good. But we're going to need mana income. Like crazy. What is this? Messes up the city's production. Not something you'll generally use that much. But maybe a bit more useful in a seal game where you're not just crushing cities over and over. Um, the hell do we go now? I guess we try and clear out that corner, right? Maybe there's a player there? I would like to get this mana. I wonder if I could have got that on the first turn and then started casting our creation node. Oh, we should go after this research. That's what we should do. You could get like 100 research from that. Five turns worth. I think you can roll 100. Maybe even over it. Definitely rolled 90 something. There's that first turn. Don't see any inns. Quite barren over here, actually, in terms of structures. So, this city has a gold mine and a trading post, and another gold mine over here that could be a pretty good moneymaker. Okay, Pony Rider. Look a bit more south. Okay, it's just mountain. You can get through these trees pretty well. Can you make it down there in one turn? Not even close. You can't make it here, though. So we'll grab that. Oh, hey. We found a monster spawner. So there are some structures in the game, such as this necromantic circle, which will spawn hostile units that will actually run around and harass stuff, and they become quite powerful if left alone. So I'm glad we found it. We're going to go next turn and negotiate and give them a peace treaty, which means we can walk in their lands without annoying them kind of thing. I don't think there's going to be anything to see over there, but... Wait, did we? Oh, we didn't do it. The turn was going. I was, it was too fast. They have a... Oh, it's an air node. Damn it. Oh, I think I, yep, I failed to start casting this. I've so already made a mistake. Let's go and destroy this thing. A couple of reanimators and a lost soul should be easy, he says. At least these guys don't have physical damage. Well, not very much of it. If they do. do you guys have cold and blight? Nope, spirit and cold. Alrighty, Leo. What have we got? Lion's Courage. Did we get Bless? No, but we got Holy Cure. That's pretty good. And a Hornet Swarm. Started with a Hornet Swarm. We don't actually have the casting points to cast it. Eagle Rider can push up to behind this pillar. A Farmer can just move up as well. Leo, get behind us cover, buddy. Okay, well, so they're just going to run up and shoot us, I guess. Oh no, despair on our eagle rider. 
Time to throw some chickens. Look at that damage. Resisted being messed up though. Hmm. Let's charge this guy. Oh, you've got fire damage on your weapon. Oh, you don't have a weapon. It's just natural fire damage. That's pretty good. Oh, I like that. Okay, we'll just shoot you. It's not going to get a kill though. Hmm. I'm going to get caught with that Eagle Rider. Let's come up here and confuse them. Farmer, throw some chickens. It's a flanking chicken. Look at that, he's almost dead with two chicken throws. We need to try and kill him now because you're just going to heal up next turn, aren't you? Although, that might take both of their turns healing. So that could be quite good, actually. I guess we'll just kill you. It might get you attacked. But we can heal you if it does. We could kill this guy. I kind of want to do this. Which hopefully means they'll both take their next turn healing and not dealing any damage to us. Oh hey, we can just kill him. <laughs> A level for our adventurer. What do you get, Elite? You get sprints. That's not bad. You're just going to attack, eh? Fair enough. Can we get a flanking charge here? I don't think we can. Oh, well, without taking a hit going around. We can get a flanking crossbow shot. Might get a kill. And do. We've got a maximum roll on that damage. Okay, so nobody died in the first fight. Got a box of blades and a little bit of mana. I think I'll sell this. Thank you. You're still casting. This will scoot out here a bit. Oh, there's a watchtower. That's pretty good. But I do want this research. And perhaps we'll smack this on the way over. Nightwatch dude. Mm, you have nothing to do. You go through the forests. Down the watchtower. Hopefully we'll get a quest soon. For, what is this place called? Hobton. Next turn. One turn late at least getting my creation load up. It's not good. Turn three. Little mistakes like that. Add up. In a game like this. Okay. Hunter. Straight into Hunter maybe. Hmm. Do we get Druid? I think we get Druidry for some more casting points. I'm going to try and kill you guys. I don't like fighting Phantasm Warriors. They look very cool. And bloody Wisps as well with their static shield and their teleporting. We don't have a lot in terms of non-physical damage here. We didn't start with any Jesters. Those guys are awesome. We have this bloody thing as well. So they're going to try and teleport on a flanking position. Probably of the adventurer since they're lowest health. But since it's the AI, they love to target your heroes and leader as well. So we're going to do something like this. and cover the rears. At least they won't get a flank. We can throw a chicken. We can throw a chicken. Do we throw a chicken? It takes these guys off defense. I think we're going to throw. We might not get another opportunity to use the chicken. Double chick over here. They're of course just going to heal up. So that was done. Look at that. We should have thrown it at two different targets. the flanking teleporting business. We almost killed our farmer over there. So we want to avoid using melee attacks if we can. 
You should be able to just outright kill one of them. Yeah, unless you roll really badly. Just go for it. And you rolled badly. You can't use your range attack. I'm gonna have to bring you around to kill them, I think. Don't get stunned. Hold well on. And you can come around and get a flanking crossbow shot. Which means that you guys can now move and use this and get a kill. So Phantasm Warriors are quite slow despite, you know, floating. So that's alright. And let's go next turn. Don't want to spend my casting points uh, using a heal and stuff if I can help it. Can't flank these guys because they are uh, defending. As long as the farmers are safe. Adventurers might want to move away as well. I guess we want them to fight the Eagle Rider. I kind of want it to keep them back for a charge. But I uh, might just have to use you as a frontliner here, buddy. I don't think we're actually going to shoot or do anything. Does everyone defend? Oh, you can shoot. Do barely anything, just going to get healed by the currents. Okay. You're just going to attack my eagle? No. You go for my adventurers. Almost bloody kill them because of that weak, that uh, physical weakness is tough. That's a pretty good charge. It's better than that. Okay. And now we shoot. Again, don't want to use casting points to heal because I'm trying to get my node transformed. Hopefully, you kill him on the first hit. Well done. Always a pain in the ass to fight those guys. Gets a bit of mana and we open this up to be absorbed by our domain. So. I guess we take this out next turn. I'm not going to go in now. Builder's Hall is almost up. Night Watch dude. Found some haste berries. Can't use them now, unfortunately. Pony Rider. Is that a Wizard Tower? It is. They have nasty, nasty things in them. Good loot, though. So this... Is this Volcanic or Blighted or something? Blighted, so it might mean that there's a Goblin player over there. Going next turn. I can't remember. The, I, the Goblin I added was a Warlord, was it? I think it was a Warlord. Which is bad, because Warlords have lots of physical damage. And we're weak to physical. And the fact that we have two Warlords in this world. Bad news. But hey, we have a creation node. These guys are ready to go, but they're still healing up. Hmm. And we have some cold climate over here. So maybe there's a Frostling player too. I kind of don't want to scout anymore. Because it can turn out that when you meet too many players, they all declare war on you. Because they're Emperor AI and they're jerks. And you get overwhelmed. I'm just going to sit here for a turn. It doesn't feel good. Let's just scout a little bit. and get these two fellas back in here. Should we rush the storehouse for 50 gold? Let's do it. Let's shave a turn off that. To grow into that gold mine as soon as possible. 
apologies if you can hear helicopters or planes or something out the window, but uh, it's a pretty warm day in Western Europe. Not as bad here in London as it is in France and Spain and stuff, but uh, yeah, pretty warm. Pretty warm. How are you guys doing? Still kind of suck. Come on, Pony Rider. Oh, it's two of these idiots now. My physical weakness, I'm just so worried about these early fights. I don't want to lose people. So I'm going to play it safe here. I could summon a wild animal. How much is it per turn? Nine? I don't know what I'd get. You could get a spider. It's probably best to get a spider because they can evolve. Sure, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Next turn. We'll try and get some research with these idiots. What am I hearing? Sounds like a kobold or something. Hmm. Maybe it was a goblin. Maybe there is a goblin over there. Don't remember what his name was. It wasn't Razor. Uh. Okay. I got governess level up. Let's do that first. Make our night watch better or storehouses cheaper. I think. Maybe we can make the one night watch fellow we have a bit better. This is not really much of a bonus. But Thirty-five gold. Saving. Let's, sure, let's make this one guy better. And we're going to split off Leo here. Give him... Ah, oh, I couldn't quite get a pony rider in there. Also give him one of these adventurers. Or, oh, sorry, one of the farmers. Summon this in the druid stack. What did we get? Hey, a serpent. That's actually pretty good because they can evolve. As well, they can evolve all the way into a tier 4, in fact. Get a King Shock Serpent out of that. So next turn, we're gonna we're gonna fight, I promise. You fellas have a quest. Um Vassal and an adventurer to kill what? Bloody wisps. I know the feeling. I'll do that for you, buddy. But first. Research. Hunters, please. Yeah, I'm waiting for this pony rider. The longest wait ever for a fight against three units. But I know I'd mess it up with uh, low health, even on a full stack. Hey, we've got a shrine. Now for a laboratory. I'm not going to rush it. Because gold is kind of tough right now. When are you growing? Oh, next turn. So we get extra 10 gold per turn. That's nice. Do we want to run one with the elements now? Or another wild animal? Holding off on the wild animals because after Hunter we will get Eldritch animals. And I want lots of mana to get those guys running. Okay. Kill these bastards and get some research. And there's no stupid mana currents going on, which is nice. So same deal, we're gonna stack up in the middle here. Like so. Eagle is gonna be a frontliner for us. Try and Guard the flanks of our squishy units like our baby shock serpent over here. Hmm. How far can you move, Leo? You can get that far. Can't quite stack up properly here. Yeah, I want to keep this shock serpent alive 
I'm pretty sure, you, yeah, you can still get onto the rear armor of it, though, I think. But it'll be one flanking attack, and they should have shock resistance, yeah. So maybe they won't go after it because of that. Not sure how the AI values resistances and stuff when they go for an attack. Can we get a shot? No. Can you guys get a shot? You can. I don't think you can. Oh, you can. Okay, let's do that. So next turn we can kill him in one attack, hopefully. Maybe one little slingshot from you. That'd be good. Okay, haphazard formation here. Should have been a bit more patient. Who are you going after? The farmers. Fair enough. It means that you can't use your ranged attack here. Ah! We can use the Shock Serpent to get a kill and thus XP. Excellent. Took a little bit of damage from the Static Shield, but nothing major. Uh, we'll face you up. We'll do that. Do this. They can still get to you. They can get to our Shock Serpent as well. Don't like that. Hmm. Put you around this way. Do this. You can shoot your bow. Do barely anything. Can you hit him? Yeah, that's going to be range reduced and stuff. Well, it's something. It's something. You don't have a range attack, unfortunately. And they have... Did they have shock protection? Yeah. Okay. Going after my farmer. Don't like it. Don't appreciate it. Are you not getting attack of opportunity? It doesn't seem like it. So we might be able to get a charging wing beat here. Which is fun. Yay, and they counted as flanks. What do you have again, Leo? Lion's Courage, Phoenix Warrior. I always forget that I have Phoenix Warrior, but it seems pretty good. Resurgence. Uh, do we attack in melee? I don't think we do. Where's the biggest flanking hit you do? Give me that flanking hit. Flanking charge over here. Is that not a flank? From here it should be, right? Yes. Oh, I'm not going to get a kill, though. Why is my morale not great? I'm well fed. I wish I had more chickens. Oh, we have this. Okay, so do that to turn you around. Get a kill here. You? Oh, you can't leave. You have no movement points. So tempting to throw in my serpent. I'll try and get a kill with you. Oh, you still have things. Maybe I should heal here. Let me see. Can you kill him? Oh, you can absolutely kill them. Okay, we'll spend we'll spend some mana on you, farmers. I'm not even sure if you're safe. Because you can't defend. I guess it depends on the rolls. I don't even know if they're safe. Do we go in and eat up more of their movement here? It would have to be with the Reed Serpent, and I don't like that. Hmm. I think I'm going to move the Reed Serpent out here for a flank. Next turn, you can't get anywhere close. Let's do this. Is the farmer gonna live? What's he doing? I'm attacking him. I don't think he is. Oh! No. I thought you'd run out of uh, movement points there. We lost the farmer, but we get a kill on our shock serpent. Can I do a thing for XP? 
can I please click? Anyone need a heal? Not really. Oh, I should have used Lion's Courage at some point, shouldn't I? Do this. And a level, yay! So they will evolve up to a mature Shock Serpent when they are elite, which is a tier 3 unit. We lost the farmer, damn it. What turn is it? Turn 8. And I lose a unit. Found 90 research, okay. That got our hunter. And now, most likely we go for the Eldritch Animal, right? We'll start with some of the research because of the lump of research we just got. Probably they cost 70 mana. So we're going to want another level of druidry so we can get them in two turns. So we'll just get that first. Okay. Where are my jesters? Nowhere. Nowhere. I guess we keep pushing east with these two fellas. Oh no, we got that quest to do. That's right. I am going to keep these guys together. Coherency all the way, guys. And I see the... Yeah, go there. I guess we can hit this stuff on the way. You get 10 turns to do a quest. It's usually not an issue. Wait, where are, where are the quest... Where's the quest marker gone? Oh, they've gone down here. Into the mountains for some reason. Next turn it is. They don't have a. Oh, they do have a mana node, but it's not the one I can turn into a creation node, unfortunately. I can turn this one, right? I think that's a regular one. We need two. Yeah, we need another growth for that. And that's 15 turns unless we get a stone wall, which gives you an, an extra domain push immediately. So maybe we'll queue that up. And some more jesters and a hunter. Do we rush the lab? Do we rush the lab? No. I need that 50 gold. I don't have much. Uh, yes. Kill things. Is goblin? What's going on here? They want to run. Let them run. Oh. They're coming towards me. That's nice of them. Nope. Stay in coherency. They want to attack us, they have to attack us all. The hell is this guy? Oh, right. Black Priest. This is one of the modded units. I've got a mod that adds tier 3 mounted support units for everyone. And they are pretty strong. Pretty good, though. Why is it running away? Let me just double check. How many turns do we have to do this? Seven turns, plenty of time, so we can take out this gold mine over here. Are you going to run? They're not going to run. They're orcs. They want to fight. Now that we have 40 casting points, we will research summon Eldritch Animal, because we can summon them in two turns now. Sword fellas and bow fellas. Razor bows, they can make you bleed. Great swords. Good damage. And they have the orky war cry and overwhelm. So bad news for the night watch. Because they have shields. Hmm. Let's come at them from all angles here. Again, try to get a kill on our reed serpents. I could do some of this. Before I can't spend my casting points anywhere because I'm constantly summoning. Got me a level too. Let's move you up. Guard the reed serpent. I want a king. Hey Leo. How's about you move up here and defend? You're going to take some hits, but I'll actually give you some XP taking hits. Chickens. Crit. Kills them. Beautiful. 
I was going to say, where are my other farmers? But we, we lost them, didn't we, poor bastards? Sure, everyone else can just hang out. Just hang out here. You turn around first. Next turn. Who are you going to attack? Pony Rider. Nullify their charge, I suppose. Oh, yeah, right. Overwhelm. You have a shield. Hey, Reed Serpent. Oh, you can't get in there. Miscalculation. Well, that sucks. But we can... Get some levels on our Eagle Rider, maybe. Hey, Leo. What about a level on you, buddy? Can you kill him? Yeah. Must be able to. And he should roll really badly. There we go. Eagle Rider can get... A massive charge and kill that guy. No XP for you, buddy, I'm afraid. That kind of sucks. Eagle Rider's doing some work. Got some bits of gold. Up to 327 now. I'm, not, I'm going to resist the urge to rush production. I need two? Okay. Guess we should clear out all this stuff while we're here, right? Because this is going to be... Oh, that's another trading post. This is a big gold city, you know? Two trading posts. Three gold mines eventually. That's a lot of income. Okay, Eldritch Animal time. And then we mo most likely get this. Which makes everything cheaper to maintain, which is nice. Yep. Upgrade your hero. Where's that field medic? There it is. Give me that. And Joval. Nature's resistance most likely. I don't think... Yeah, you can't get the more regeneration thing on level 2 for a druid. I'll get this. And then some more damage from our bows. It's nice having all these hit points. Would like some defense though. There you go. Uh, and yeah, you're going to wait here, are you? Hopefully they'll come and attack us. And next turn. I'm going to um, do this quest before we end this episode here. Here we go. Surely I can auto this. Shall we do it? Do we dare? Do we dare? I'm letting you cast spells. You know what? I'm going to manual it and I'm just going to throw the hornet thing at them. Which is awesome, by the way. Very happy to start with that. Alright, I'm defending. I can move. How do you like this? They are defending, but it's going to kill them anyway. I don't know if the AI, AI would have done that. Could have saved the mana maybe, but hey. They gone. Which means they're now a vassal and we get a little little adventurer dude. Hey! Hobton is in the fold, kind of. You're going to join Leo's army. And we're going to start clearing out some stuff around here. Magma Forge first, I think. I'm kind of afraid of this guy. Primal Stream might kick our ass. Can we get a Jester before then? Maybe. Maybe. What do I want after that? Warhol? Do I care about a Warhol right now? I don't think I do. I'm going to be summoning stuff like crazy. So, a temple. What do we have here? Hellhound, Draconian Flamer, and a Hatchling. Okay, there's going to be the annoying choking fumes happening, which you can't dispel. But it does affect them as well, I think. Yeah, they're also choking. Why are you here, dumbasses? We're here because we want our city to be better. What are you here for? Let's try and not get AOE'd by these guys too much. Let's 
Gonna happen though. They always get me. So, oh, I can just throw trekking fumes at them, can't I? Oh, I can't. I don't have the casting points for it now. Should I lie and discourage someone? I'm gonna try to remember to use Phoenix Warrior if I need to in this fight. Because they've got some rage attacks. And they can be painful. You know, fire and stuff. Could charge you. But then I get set up on. I do have 75 hit points. And a heal. But let's be patient. Impatience always gets me in this game. Just want to charge everything. Uh, serpent. Be careful. Adventurer, I don't want you at the front of my army. Gonna put you here. Joval behind this. Prob oh, that's a lot of damage, you know. I was going to say probably put him on defense, but uh, that's a decent shot even though these guys are defending. I'll take it. We could possibly kill them, but let's be patient. Don't want to move you up there and give them a nice target. Or bombs of fire. Yeah, this is fine. Maybe try and try and encourage them to bomb this area, because that wouldn't be too bad. Still gonna save just in case we need that Phoenix Warrior thing. Ouch. They didn't go for what I set up. Okay, Hellhounds hurts. Noted. Oh you have animals there, that's right. Range penalty though. Uh, I might have to charge this idiot. And back off Joval. Hmm. I guess I can Phoenix Warrior Joval, can't I? You? Still have a line of sight penalty, unfortunately. get the reed serpent in, can't get these guys in. You have a chicken though. You always have that chicken. You can get a kill. I'll take it. Which means you can come and flank and charge these idiots. Maybe get a kill of your own. Not quite. But you can now leave safely, can you? Yes, just making sure there was no... Red triangle of death over there. You can't quite charge those guys, which is annoying. Can you? Nope. It's very annoying. You're probably going to shoot your fire at that guy. At the eagle, and it's going to be a flank. It's going to suck. I guess we'll just move up behind this rock and shoot you then. There's no AOE on this fella's attack, so let's move up. That was a dumb move. I blocked my own Reed Serpent. Yeah, there's no way I can get XP on my Reed Serpent here. Fair enough. Hey, Joval. A level for you, and a level for you, maybe? Ah, not quite. Okay, bit laborious, but we got there. You, befriend animal, awaken spirit. Both nice. Nourishing meal. Natural healer, bleeding wounds. They have such good choices at level three. I think we're going to go natural healer because I love the healing up between turns. And probably save the point because we have amazing things to get. We have our lab shooting grounds next. So we get our ranked up. Jester, and then a wall for some more mana. How many turns? Three turns to an Eldritch Animal. 
Alrighty. And next turn, I guess we take out this trading post. But that is going to be it. For now. The start of our adventure, of our halfling adventure. Is it going to end horribly in like 20 turns after we get rushed by three players? Maybe. But uh, it'll be fun. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.